Right, so I'm going to show a, a contract and how we can use an address to be able to uh, access that, that contract once we've created it. So in this case, I'm taking uh, some code here. This is standard code that's available in a GitHub and it's a, it's a marriage contract. So it's a marriage between two partners here. There's a date and uh, a marriage status. And we create it with this uh, constructor here. So we pass parameters into it. Uh, so it's a byte 32 for the first partner and for the second partner. And then we have a 256 bit uh, unsigned integer for the date. Okay, so we're going to create a, a, a transaction for a, a, a marriage contract and then add that onto our blockchain. Okay, so the first thing that we do is that we'll get the compiled version from here. <coughs> and then we'll just put that into our JavaScript. Okay, so I already have it in here. I've increased the gas a little bit because the gas value is too low there for this contract because we're adding data to it. We need a bit more gas. So I've increased the gas value from here up to this value and that should work. Okay, so that's, we've got our blockchain running here. So we'll just get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just going to unlock the accounts and set the default account. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up the script that, that we saw and that was marriage.js. Okay, so it's loaded and then we'll just get our miners to mine that contract. Okay, that's them, that's it mined. And we'll just stop them. because they make our CPU go to 100%. Okay, so we now have our, we now have our mind contract from there. Okay, so if we, we want to have a look at that contract, Here it's here, and in, in it's uh, in the version that it's on the uh, the blockchain. So you can see here, uh, this is create marriage here, which is a function uh, that that will call up. Okay, so if we just scroll down, we see here that there's an address. Okay, so this is the address that we're going to use when we dial back in. We won't be able to. Uh, sort of load up the JavaScript again. So we'll take just take a quick note of that address because we're going to use it later to be able to access the the contract. Okay, so that's it there. Just take a little, little copy there. So that's the address that we would we would send the identifier that we would send to uh, someone else if they wanted to use our, our contract. But it's loaded up uh, into the into the system just now, so we should be able to create our own uh, transaction uh, based on that. Okay, so we'll just go ahead, and what we'll do is we'll we'll create. Uh, marriage between these two partners. 
Captain James and Linda. Okay, and then we can see that it's created a transaction uh, here. Okay, so now what we can do is that we can mine that. This takes a little minute, and that's it mining now. Okay, it looks at like it has it. And then we'll have a look at the transaction. And it's this transaction here. That's them. And when we look at it, if we see this is the the layout of the parameters. Uh, we have the, the ID here, and then following that, uh, we have the actual names of the individuals. So we have James here. So these are the hex characters for James, and these are the hex characters for Linda. Okay, we could have put in a time and some other details in there, but that's the the details of the data actually on the transaction that we've used for that contract. Okay, so it's in a certain block, so we know when it's when it uh, happened, and it has a hash block, and so on. Okay, so that that shows how we can actually create a transaction from our contract. Okay, so let's quit and we'll restart again, but this time what we'll do is we'll, we'll refer to the, the contract by its address. So let's go back in. And this time, won't exist. Okay, so it doesn't exist anymore. So how do we refer to our contract uh, on, the, on the blockchain? So the way we do it is that we use this address here. Uh, and that gives us the address for our contract. So what we'll do is we'll just get set up with our, with our ID. In our default account. Then what we do is we take the the uh, the header definition for our contract. So this was the header that we saw here. This one here. Okay, I guess it's our definition. So we just paste that in. Next thing we'll do is that uh, we'll set up our address for our contract. And it's that one. Okay, so that's that's as uh, set up now, just in the same way we were before, but now we're using the ID, the address, uh, to be able to find our contract. Okay, so we've put in that code there. Now what we'll do is we'll do the same again. This time we'll do John and Mandy. Okay, and then we have uh, an ID here. And 
we'll take this ID from the blockchain. And there it's there. Okay. Uh, oh, so look, <laughs> it's not actually been mined yet. So we'll just start our miner. And check. So it's been mined. So now let's go back. And now it's been mined on, on block number 5498. Five four nine eight. And what we should find is that uh, the John is here and Mandy is there. So if we convert these from our our hex digits into ASCII, we should find that those are the translations. Okay, so that's showing you how we can uh, how we can create a contract and then how we can pass the address to someone and then they can use that contract. Okay, thanks.